Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of the Nanny Coke Newsroom with Bob Kalinowski. So tonight, what are we going to talk about? Well, what did we talk about yesterday? That happened so fast yesterday, I had to plan the show in five minutes that we really couldn't absorb what was happening. But somebody, somebody out there planted these shirts at my house on Fairchild Street Nanny Coke here at the Nanny Coke Newsroom. So it's almost like a whodunit. And actually, it is a whodunit. Um, as with any great mystery and sometimes a crime, I'm not sure if this is a crime, we had to give it a name. So today, earlier today on Facebook, or even last night, I think I called it Shirtgate. Who anonymously dropped these shirts off at my house? And I swear, and I'm in my grandparents' house, who, who I loved and adored, on my grandparents' graves, I have no idea who the hell dropped these shirts off, and no one's fessed up to it yet. So I'm actually really, I have suspects, but I have no idea who dropped these shirts off. And I just appreciate it and it's awesome and it makes, motivates me to keep doing this. Cause if even whoever the hell spent the 50 bucks to make these two shirts or whatever it was, that that motivates me to keep doing this. If, if it's giving peace, a couple people a laugh every night, I'm gonna keep doing it. So, who did it? My first suspect was Cliff Lewis, my good friend from high school. Cliff lives in Arizona, but he has a lot of connections in northeastern Pennsylvania still. He was a, our class president. He beat me out for class president. So obviously, like, you know, he's a popular and a big deal. Um, so I, I thought it was Cliff Lewis. No, why? And another reason why, you know, you use some deductive reasoning. And hey, Jack, um, uh, he uh, asked me for my address over the weekend. And like I told you yesterday, um, I was I ignored him all weekend because I was betting on Australian horse racing all weekend and doing pretty good. And uh, I, I didn't get back to him until like six o'clock yesterday. And then six fifty outside at my house, you know, I, I send him my address and there's these shirts outside. So that's not a lot of time to pull it off, but he probably could have found the address. So Cliff was a suspect. He denies it. Another suspect. Hmm. My friend Shelly. Recently, Shelly volunteered to be the volunteer um, wardrobe advisor for the Nanny Coke Newsroom, which um, I didn't deliver a lot to work with. You know I started this all out with a white t-shirt, right? So, um, and since she was the wardrobe advisor, maybe she was thinking it would be an easier job if she just had to say, wear this every day. I asked her, and she said no, no. But Shelly also is a defense attorney, so she might be pulling one over on me because, you know, that's what she does for a living. So I don't know if she's lying, but she said no. Another one was uh, my friend Melody. I, I accused her, sort of, because she's a graphic designer. And I've actually asked her to s make the Nanny Coke Newsroom logo, um, make it better than this. Because this really isn't a logo. It's actually a graphic on, on my editing program. So it's kind of like you'd have to, like, and any graphic designer would know how to replicate this, but that's a lot of fonts to go through. I mean, this is one font on the, on the, so Melody denied it too. And then at the end of the night, we thought we were on the trail of Peter Cottontail last night. We, I swore, I even posted it on Facebook. I said that I don't care if I'm charged with libel, slander, or defamation of character unless Pat Ravello and Heather Ravello absolutely categorically deny doing it, I believe it was them. Know why? Because they got the most shout outs on this show so far. And no, they're not paying me, there's my good friends. That's what loyalty is, by the way. And um, they also made a shirt and gave me a shirt last year that said, Ravello's Pizza, make America great again. Like you had, you know, grating cheese. So I mean, not an endorsement of any politics, but it was just a funny sign of the time shirt. And they gave me one of those for free. So I modeled it, the one shirt, and Pat Pat crystallized me. He sent me a picture of it crystallized. Thank you, Pat. And they also, Heather also made the jungle shirts for our class reunion, so I thought they were it. So that's my top five suspects. I still think Cliff's number one. Something to do with it. If Cliff didn't do it, there's a thing in this world called conspiracy. And I think Cliff has something to do with it or knows someone who did it. So anyway, thanks for the shirt, everyone. The hunt is on. All right, this will be a quick show, I think, today. So the Jack the Cat feature today. Jack has decided, he was by my feet a second ago, um, not to make a live performance on stage like normal, and, or sometimes, and I didn't take any good pictures or videos of him today, but I think I think everybody knows what what's coming. 
So, when everyone saw this shirt yesterday on, on Facebook and, and, and they were wondering if I, this is a, just a joke, did I make these shirts myself or who did it? Well, a lot of people are saying, who the hell cares about the Nanny Coke newsroom on a shirt, the logo? Why don't you put Jack on a shirt? That would that probably would sell more, right? So, look at what I created on Photoshop in like three seconds today. Somebody, that's an idea. I think you can make a mint on Jack the Cat. Uh, I'm gonna. I asked my sister last night for permission. We might start him on an Instagram page. Um, is Facebook, do you allow to have pet pages? And I thought they got rid of that. Okay, so we're going, jumping real quick through the show. I think we're quick. Right to the laugh, smile, and cry feature today. Coupled with, I do this once in a while, when it's deserving, also the random act of kindness of the day. And who does it go to? Again, if you haven't been paying attention, um, I have... Uh, no, I have, I don't, ha I don't have a nepotism policy on the Nanny Cook newsroom. And for the people in Glen Line, that means like being favor, giving favoritism to your friends, so uh, or family. Uh, so the people in Glen Line, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a policy like that. So the Random Act of Kindness Award, the Cliff Lewis Random Act of Kindness Award tonight, coupled with the laugh, smile, and cry feature today, is goes to my Aunt Janet. And Uncle Steve Baderka of Maryland. Aunt Janet is my dad. Uh, yeah, my dad's sister. And um, obviously they're from here. Um, so Uncle Steve and Aunt Janet were awesome. Like they were like the cool aunt and uncle because they were younger, kind of contemporary, kind of even younger than my dad. And like Uncle Steve was like, you know, the cool uncle. You know, they say the uncles prepare you for life. So like he was like the first guy that gave me a beer. Like, when I was seven, when I visited in Maryland, like, you know, here's a shot glass of beer with your pizza. Probably That, that probably puts you to sleep when you're a kid. I mean, I'm, I bet you my bocce even put me a shot of whiskey on my gums when I was two, so maybe she gave me the first drink I ever had. But Uncle Steve, first beer, cool guy, took me crabbing, and we did a lot of fun things. And um, I still don't think I ever beat him in basketball. So, it was great to hear from him recently, or today, and uh, I miss him. And I'm going to tell you, run down the email he sent me. And uh, even though it's to me, it's to all of us in Northeastern Pennsylvania when you have family move away and that are proud of you when they see your work. So here we go uh, from Uncle Steve. And I, I did edit this a little bit just to cut it down a little. Be like, hey, Bobby, very impressive program you have going there. We were on YouTube the other night and Aunt Janet says, so you're thinking, oh, yeah, they've been watching all along. And I've been telling them about it, right? Aunt Janet says, let's see what's happening in Nanny Coke. So I type in, I type in Nanny Coke News. And holy shit, there you are. What's the odds of that? That had to be, that was awesome for them to see, I'm sure, and awesome for me to hear that this morning. Like, you type in Nanny Coke News. So anyone in the world that typed in Nanny Coke News, I guess that's what they're going to find, this guy. So I know it's probably not the most visually appealing thing when they, that comes up, but at least maybe that's some information or a joke, you know? So there you are. So we watched 10 episodes so, so far, and I must say, you're pretty good, quick, and sharp. He said, he named a couple news personalities that I might be similar to, but I don't want to offend anyone if you don't like them. Oh, so we were so glad you mentioned your family, Aunt Marge, Michelle, and Bocce, uh, being Polish, and it was great. So don't forget to give... Oh, here it comes, Uncle Steve. Don't forget to give Uncle Steve a big plug down here in Maryland for keeping the Navy F-18s up and flying for the past 30 years, USA. Um, so for the people on Glen Line, F-18s are fighter aircraft for the Air Force. Um, but um, Uncle Steve used to always take us, me and his, his kids, um, my aunt, uh, my cousin Nikki and Stevie, to go, and my sister when she was down there, to go see the planes that, you know, on the, and the, on the bases down there. It was like exhil exhilarating and awesome. And I probably just showed you a photo that probably I look fat and young and dumb, but whatever. Um, so, they closed by saying, we're going to go binge watch right now, because I heard there's 18 episodes, and we are missing Nanny Coke, pizza, sausage, pierogies. So I just want to come up there and eat, eat, eat. 
Oh, and we did see the story about the woman spitting at the grocery store. Then they said it was where it was, and I was like, no way, how the hell did that make national news? I told you, Northeastern Pennsylvania, even from people in Maryland that are transplants, know that Northeastern Pennsylvania is the news capital of the world. So thanks for watching tonight, and Anna, it's your cue. Stay safe out there.